the reflection tiles can be a tile that actually reflects two-dimensionally. It provides a uh, reflection that can be either down below or above. Um, what we're going to do is set up a scene here so you can see it reflecting uh, not just the grid but um, tiles as well. So as a, for instance, if I was to place a block inside the scene, notice that based on where you're placing it and the height of where it's starting its reflection, you'll see where those come into play. We can also put a character, we'll put a camera inside of here. Um, any object like the camera when it goes to play and it's no longer seen, it's not going to be seen it down there as well. If you turn off visibility, um, it's only looking for what it can see. So just with this by itself here, let's go ahead and push play, take a quick look at how it works. Um, one thing to remember is that on the reflection, uh, you do have a lot of different options in terms of how it follows, uh, the height and level of it, the color of it, the speed of it, uh, the perspective depth that happens, and we'll go through all those and uh, give you a good idea of how you can use it and uh, implement it inside of your game projects. So again, if you have the character flying, so if I'm down below here, I'm actually down below the horizon level so that the player is no longer technically in that spot so it's not going to see it but if I'm like right on that line then you're seeing where that horizon level would be or if you're floating above it all right so that's going to be the basics for the reflection in terms of what it can do for you and again we'll take a look at um, adding a lot of different elements to it also adding backgrounds to see how that affects it and all those good things